How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. Julie and I are out camping a little bit and as you guys know we haven't been able to get out of the house in two years. But we're here in a campground and I found a nice gentleman. His name's Bud Preston and he has a pretty unique uh, camper here and I think you guys are going to want to see this. So let's check it out and we'll see what his story is. So Bud, what led you on to building this camper? Well, uh, I'm a musician by trade. I play the guitar for a living. Um, and I did not want to be a traveling musician because I had five children. I wanted to be a daddy. And now my bride and I are empty nesters and we can travel. So I wanted to just build a one-room hotel bed. And I could go play a gig out of town, go to a restaurant, get in the sleeper van or, or camper and, and, and go back home. So is something like this uh, very expensive to build? I probably I probably got about $3,500. And that's not really a bad price for a camper. No, I, it's, it's not. It's I, actually I, really good. I think that's probably I think that's probably an accurate number. Now, uh, you was telling me you're going to be put, posting a video on the build itself? I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to do a build in stages from the trailer to the walls to the trim to the interior. It, it, so you already have a YouTube channel? Yes, I do. It and is. the name of it is? Preston Guitar Method. So, you guys remember that. Uh, we're going to take a look around his camper here and see how he's built it. And I, I was amazed when I first seen it. It was pretty neat looking. And that's something we're all interested in. Definitely uh, unique. So, I'm going to get some background checks and we're going to go over this camper and uh, check it out. I see Mama's in there. This is why I built the camper. Mama <laughs> ain't having a tent on out of town gig. <laughs> hey, I don't blame her either. My wife's the same way. <laughs> so, Bud, I was noticing your roof when I first got up here, and this is one of the main things that I know a couple people may be having trouble with. And uh, what is this stuff on your roof? That's a product called Peel and Seal. It's a commercial roofing product. It comes in three foot widths and a hundred foot length, and it's for low pitched roofs it's yeah it's got a wax paper you put it in place you peel the, wa uh, the wax paper off and boy you better have it where you want it or it's not coming back up oh uh, i see you have some pretty neat windows in there is that something you was able to buy or no i everything's custom uh, i i made those myself that's nice i like it and i see you got some nice little storage on the sides yeah that's an uh, an afterthought we just needed more storage for the jacks to level the the camper and whatnot and uh it's really nice this actually turns into uh a countertop oh yeah and then we have another countertop that will sit on here so sometimes we can serve buffet style yeah we have the children with us that is nice. That kind of a thing. Now you base this off of like a caboose, right? Yeah, I've I've always loved trains, Pullman trains. They were the first trains where you could sleep overnight. They were very opulent, and I wanted something that looked like a Pullman car. But I also always loved uh, trolleys, and that's the, that's the reason for this. This thing lights up. We live in a little village called Weymouth, and uh, the trolleys always had the destination. Yeah. There. Uh, fun fact, the little white flags, everybody asked me, why are these white? When trains had a white flag, it meant they were on no particular schedule. They were just <laughs> ambling around. I love it. I like the little light here in the front. Does that take a candle? Or? It takes a candle. That's pretty cool. And it looks like the candle that's in there right now kind of beat the thing up. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> that's all right. It's just oh, so neat. Uh, I see the little name on the side here. Well, eventually up top, we're going to have... Uh, the name Butterfly Railroad. This is built lightweight, uh, but a train car, kind of like a butterfly. The first night, uh, the first morning we woke up and we used it, we were surrounded by yellow butterflies. And uh, my wife said, well, let's call it Butterfly. And I thought, well, wait a minute. It's light, but it looks like a train, so it's going to be called the Butterfly Railroad. And the, we actually gave this one the nickname Flit because when I was a kid, I was always bouncing around. My mom would say, uh, you know, find a place to land. You're flitting about like a butterfly. So, <laughs> and if you look up the definition of flit, it means to abscound in the evening to avoid one's creditors. And we're like, that's, <laughs> that's a good one, huh? I noticed you got this just on a, uh, a small trailer underneath here. What size is the trailer itself? That is a tractor supply five by eight garden trailer. Wow. And I'm looking at the tailgate down here, the split down tailgate. This is pretty awesome. This must give you a lot more space. It does. This was an afterthought. I, the, the tailgate 
you know, that's the tailgate that flips up and down so you can pull yeah. your tractor on. And I thought, boy, we're missing an awful lot of space. So I kind of invented and envisioned this back porch. And I'll tell you what, it doubled our living space. Wow, that is so nice. Now, does this flip up when you're traveling? Everything folds apart. Everything comes apart. Everything folds up and stores inside, and then the tailgate comes up. Okay, that's nice. So do you mind if we uh, have a little look oh, inside? absolutely. Let's check this out. What do you say, bud? Oh, this is so nice in here. It's been a lot of fun. Oh, man. So now, I noticed that the ceiling here has a window all the way, and that's... Yeah, that's, that's called a mollycroft. Um, the reason for that is we live in Ohio, and I don't want to get into a contest about who's got worse winters, but we lose our sun from the middle of October to the middle of April, and we wanted to build something. One of the reasons I built this is I wanted something that would be warm and I could heat in the winter so we could use it in the winter. And we just wanted something as bright as we possibly could get in those dull days. And that just lets in a ton of light, particularly in the morning. Well, that is nice. Yeah. Now, does it open at all? Or no, no, no it's, it's stationary. So, so um, I see you have like a bench you're setting on. Is that uh, double into a bed too? This, yeah, this is our, this is our, uh, our couch. Um, we have the, the sideboards here. I actually have an extender here, so we have two tables where we can eat. When we want to make the bed, both of the armrests uh, are in the way, so they come forward, and then the bed pulls out. And what's really nice is in the morning, when I uh, I wake up before my bride, I sit there and make the coffee, and then uh, I can uh, send it back to her like she's so, a princess. Yeah, are you, you're saying that you uh, make coffee? I mean, yeah, I'm yeah. looking at cupboards here, but... Yeah, this is my... Uh, this is my little cook station. Now this was all retrofitted. We built this just before the lockdown. It was only supposed to be able to sleep in, but we were locked down and we started using it. We enjoyed it so much I retrofitted it with a, a little cook air, cooking area. This is uh, this is where we keep our coffee cups. <laughs> oh wow. And uh, up here on each side, I have a little bar. As you can see, I'm a scotch drinker. And, <laughs> That's uh, nice. And then over on this side is where I keep my uh, my drink glasses. Oh, wow. And now, did you make all these cabinets yourself? Yeah, these, these were actually inexpensive Luan cheap plywood um, mock-ups. I, I did everything in cheap plywood for the first year because I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. Well, this ended up working out great. And I thought, this is such cheap plywood, I don't want to rebuild it. So what I did is I painted it with all kinds of different color paint. Then I, I, I painted that over with regular Elmer's glue. And when it got a little bit tacky, I put some white paint over it and hit it with a hair blower. And I got all of these crackles. Oh, and that whatnot. is nice. And this is our little water station and our, our nice. paper towels. And that folds out of the way. And there's actually down here a small potty, believe it or not. You actually thought of just about everything. Now, is that storage underneath of the uh, bed, too? Yeah, absolutely. This, this pulls out. Everything pulls out. This drawer right here I just built real quick this weekend. Uh, it'll eventually have this, this nice. same front on it. Nice. I do got to say, you did a pretty good job here. Now, I'm looking at the floor, and I'm seeing the original floor on the trailer. And it looks like you have it sealed up. I do, it's uh, two by tens that I ship lapped and um, I waited for about a year, and then I just caulked with brown caulk in between. Well, oh, that's nice. Yeah. I like it. it. Was, it's what they actually used to do on, on boats. Yeah, that yeah. is really nice. Yeah. I like these here. I like that. Yeah. Where, where do you, what is this? Is this something you made? Or? Yeah, it's just, uh, just something I envisioned. It's got... Uh, it, Where's know, the tracks from? Where, where do you get something the, like that? I, you know what? I bought these. Are, uh, these are 36-inch tracks that I bought at Home Depot. I got, I bu I've got two of them, and uh, it's... You know, it's heavy duty. It, it, we don't tend to put a ton of weight on it when right, it's fully right. extended, but it, it'll do everything. It'll do everything you want. And then inside of here are my storage boxes. I have these little extenders that I made, and then these will slip right inside of here. And then when we're having a meal, we've each got our little tables. Right. And, oh, I can put my wine bottle right there. There you go. So now you uh, you're going to be posting a video on um, the build of this, right? Yes, yeah, so it's going to be a series. So like I say, I'm going to take it from the the just the carcass to the finishing to. Right. Well, I'll be honest with you. I can't wait to see your build. 
I'm going to get over there and subscribe to your channel myself, and uh, I'm going to check it out. I think you did a very nice job on your build, and the size of it, you can't beat the weight for pulling, can you? I, I can pull it with absolutely anything. I actually can take this by the tongue and pick it up and push it back into wooded campsites and yeah, send it down. Yeah, do you down. think maybe this could be pulled with a like a four-cylinder uh, vehicle? Absolutely. I, yeah, absolutely. I pull this um, for the first four years with a 2006 Jeep Wrangler. Wow. So, And that's not a vehicle that you, is known for towing. Well, I think you did a great job, Thank and you. I really do appreciate you letting me take a look around, and hopefully the viewers... Uh, We'll go over and check out your build. Please do. Please. It's Kevin. I would like to tell everyone thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like.